What's up? In this video, I'm going to take you through a home leg workout using dumbbells only. And if you have neighbors, don't worry. There are no plyometric or weight to floor exercises, so you can do this workout any time of the day without disturbing your neighbors or anyone else in your home. All right, let's take a look at the workout on the screen now. Once we are warmed up, our first exercise is going to be some single leg work and then a big compound movement. Now, if we're going to be doing a compound movement, we'd always want to do that first because it's the most taxing. But since we don't have a lot of weight, we're going to pre-exhaust the legs before we hit that compound movement. That light weight is going to feel heavy. As far as the order, train the group of muscles that you want to build up the most first. So I started with quads to hamstrings to calves, but you could do hamstrings, quad, or calves. Work on what you think is lagging first because you will have the most energy at the beginning of your workout. Before I start legs, I like to do some kind of cardio warm up. It's pretty nice outside, so I just did a brisk walk for half a mile. Let's get into the workout. The first exercise I did is the Bulgarian split squat. You do need a chair or something to put your foot on. If you don't have a chair, you could do reverse lunges, but I prefer these much more. They're brutal even without weights. Don't be afraid to have a little bit of width in between your feet. You want to be stable, and if your feet are so close together, you're going to be working on your balance instead of breaking down your muscle. You can also change the angle between your torso and spine to work more on the quad or glute. I have my chest closer to my knees to emphasize the quads, but if you sit back with your back perpendicular to the floor, you will feel it more in your glutes. Another way to make it harder is by adding partial reps. This is going to increase the time under tension for your legs, which is great when you're working with lighter weights. Next, we are doing a dumbbell goblet squat. I'm holding it horizontally instead of vertical. For me, when I hold it vertically, the bottom of the dumbbells just get in the way, so that's why I'm holding it like this. I'm going to continue to do partial reps. Do what challenges you. You want to have the weight as close to your body as possible, in line with your heels, moving in a straight line. You can see the weights on my dumbbells prevent me from bringing the weight as close as I could with a bar, which would be perfectly in line with my heels, but that's okay. I'm still moving in a straight line, my back looks good, and the movement feels great. On to hamstrings. The first exercise targeting your hamstrings is going to be the Romanian deadlift. These can be confusing because the movement is very similar to the stiff leg deadlift. My tips though would be, one, the stiff leg deadlifts will never start at the top. The Romanian deadlift can be either, but let's start at the top. Slowly lower the dumbbells down by moving your hips behind you while you're keeping your shins straight and knees slightly bent. Once you feel the maximum amount of stretch in your hamstrings, explode up with your hips and squeeze with your glutes. The Romanian deadlift is an eccentric hamstring focused movement, so you'll feel like your hamstrings want to bounce up towards the bottom. This is something you won't feel with the deadlift or a stiff leg deadlift. Fourth is a dumbbell sumo deadlift. We're going to switch arms so you can either switch halfway or every other set. Place your feet wide apart, toes angled, and drive up through your heels. To make this movement harder, do some partial reps. When I'm doing these, even at the bottom of the movement where the muscles on the inside of my legs would be more relaxed, I'm trying to tighten them to resist the upward motion. Little tweaks like this make it possible to rely on lighter weights. Just because you're at home doesn't mean you can't train calves. Don't be that guy with tiny calves. My gym doesn't have sitting calf machines, and I've been doing mostly standing calf exercises. So since I'm home, I'm going to be changing it up and doing seated calf raises. I just loaded the dumbbells in my lap, did the same thing I did with sumo squats. I focused on squeezing the calves from the bottom of the movement all the way to the top where I paused. Again, little tweaks like this make movements with lighter weights much more difficult. It's not much, but I got the job done. To be honest, this leg workout with no more than 20 kilogram dumbbells exceeded my expectations. This was my first home leg workout probably since high school. I was sore, it hurt to go upstairs. If I couldn't go to the gym, I would 100% be happy with a pair of dumbbells, especially using little tweaks to make the movements more difficult and establish a better mind-muscle connection. If you found this information useful, leave a like, and if you want to know more about Japan and working out, subscribe and tell me what you want to see next.